Hey everyone, it's Karen Basket DIYer here. The cup that I'm about to show you, um, it's not 100% complete. It still needs its final coat, but guys, my hair was looking good today, so I needed to go ahead and film this intro. No kidding. Um, so a couple of days ago, I put a Tumblr tutorial out for you, um, a golf tumbler. This one right here to be exact. And I had great intentions of this looking like a golf ball up top, textured and all, but it didn't work out. Other than that, it turned out great. I love it. I have made another tumbler using the same technique that I started using in that last tutorial, but I'm so, so happy with how this turned out. So um, today, let's see if I can let you see the golf ball texture on here. It's really hard to... Um, it's really difficult to see it on here, but lighting is a little bright for it. But anyways, um, just stay tuned, follow along, and I will show you the process and steps that I took to create this fun Father's Day golf tumbler. I can't wait for you to see it at the very end because it's so super cool. I'm starting out with a sanded 12 ounce low ball tumbler so that my vinyl and paint stick to it without any issues. Um, to create this golf divot look, I took a square and just um, unlocked it and sized it to fit my tumbler. And I'm going to be using a straight, um, what you call low ball tumbler, basically. Um, it's just a short, straight, thick tumbler. So I created the rectangle and then I got some circles and size them down to what I wanted and then duplicated several times, spaced them out about as far as I wanted, aligned them, um, say bottom align and then distribute horizontally and then you weld those together and then just duplicate, duplicate until you have this big pattern, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. And then now that I've got this all welded, I'm gonna center this up on my rectangle. It does not have to fit perfect, perfectly inside the rectangle. Uh, you want the holes to go over the edges and overlap a little bit. Okay, so now then you go down here to slice and it slices it. So you can delete this and then you take this out this out, remove all these holes, and there is your wrap for your tumbler with all your holes in it, okay? So you're gonna just cut this out with your Cricut or whatever cutting device you have. And I'm just gonna use white vinyl to do this. And here I'm just weeding out the little circles in my vinyl. By the way, let me know what you're thinking, um, how you're liking this. I love to interact with you in the comments, so definitely drop me a note, maybe give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Just let me know if you're enjoying this tutorial. So here, I'm using my Cricut transfer tape. I happen to love Cricut transfer tape. Um, using that to get lined up here. And to be real honest with you guys, this is my first vinyl wrap, full vinyl wrap ever. So, um, little trial and error here. It wrinkles up, so I keep having to adjust, pull it back off, readjust, use my thumb to really like squeegee out the little air bubbles and all. But um, once you get it done, it just looks super cool. So um, I used my X-Acto knife right here to cut and seam it together. Next, I gave it a couple of coats of the Ultra Matte White Rust-Oleum 2 times finish. And once that was nice and dry, I put a coat of the Amazing Quick Coat on there. Okay, y'all, I am so super excited. So if you'll remember the tumbler that I um, put out, the tutorial that I put out for you a couple of days ago, this Father's Day golf tumbler, um, I was really trying to achieve a look of a golf ball up top here. Texture, appearance, everything. Um, didn't work out so great, but overall it turned out pretty nice and I love it. 
but I was able to achieve that look with this one that I have been working on today for you. Um, you can see the golf ball texture here, and I'm so super excited about that. So can you imagine if these two were combined, how cool that would look? Um, but anyways, so that's what you get to do, is you get to figure out how to combine this with this. And I think that would work out so great on like a straight skinny tumbler or a 30 ounce thick or something like that. Um, but anyways, so I found a really cute SVG on Etsy, but I'm a little too cheap sometimes and I didn't want to pay five bucks for it. So um, I just created my own. And so now I'm just going to weave that out real quick and apply it to the tumbler. So you can watch me do that. And I absolutely love Expressions Vinyl. Um, that is where I purchase all my vinyl. So be sure to check the description below because I will put a coupon code for you there. I believe you get $5 off your first order. So it's a really great deal. Um, and I, of course, get a little reward for that too. So I really do appreciate it whenever you use that link. seam you know whenever I put this vinyl on here my seam was like super obvious and now then it is like almost disappeared so I want that to be in the back even though it's almost completely gone and then I'm gonna try to eyeball this I do hope that's straight. I love it. I love when things come together. Um, again, let me know what you're thinking, how you like it. Um, okay, guys, so I think this is ready for its next coat of epoxy, and then it will be all finished up. You know, and if someone wants this personalized with dad or dad's name or grandpa, it doesn't just have to be dad. Um, I can add that to it. Um, it doesn't have to be Father's Day necessarily. It could say happy birthday right here. Yeah, I would think I just really, really love it. And here I'm just putting on my final coat of Mr. Nola's glass coat. And here is the final product. You can see the texture. It's just super subtle, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, and I just really do love how this turned out. And I do hope that you will let me know what you think about it. And if you give one of these a try, let me know. Find me on Facebook, send me pictures, and definitely like, subscribe, and ring that bell for future Tumblr tutorial notifications. Thanks so much for watching.